hi guys it's Ashley welcome back to my channel um, this is going to be my July wrap up but also a little update so I'll first share the toys I don't have very many and that's why I decided to do some updates towards the end because I feel like this is gonna be a very short video um, but let's jump right into the toys first as you can see behind me I have a my pet monster Ozzy and I have been looking for him. He's been on my wish list for so long. Um, but as you know, they can be quite pricey. Um, and I'm kind of a little bit picky about their hands and feet because their hands and feet are prone to like pilling. So I wanted to find one who was in okay condition, um, but still had like, I don't know about the hands who didn't have a lot of peeling on the hands so he I got him for an okay price I guess um, but he does have a little damage so if you can see right here he has a small rip um, and then he has a broken tooth neither of these things bother me I think that an animal a dog or something probably chewed on this tooth but I just think that he is so cool and he's by Amtoys probably around 1985 and I don't know I just feel like he's a really iconic boy toy from the 80s and as a plush collector I really wanted to add him to my collection um I do have a spooky shelf and he's like the main star of that shelf so yeah I got him here he is in all his glory. He's a beautiful guy. He's going to sit right here as we talk about the other stuff. So also, um, if you've seen my Furby video, you'll know that I got this guy um, who I actually named Gandalf because most of my um, Furbies are um, based off of Lord of the Rings, but I call um, her Ganny instead but she had broken feet one was partially broken one was completely broken um, I ordered off of eBay new feet new replacements so these are the replacement feet they were they're 3d printed so they're not that smooth they haven't been sanded down or anything but I feel like they fit really well um, they went on really easily this foot still had like the fur but this one was completely broken so I couldn't like salvage that but I think it's fine he can stand now and he has two perfectly good feet it was a long time coming um, but I felt like I was really focused um, in July on completing a few things and getting things that have been on my list for a while including Ozzy back here and some replacement feet for Gandy um, but yeah these were on Etsy and they had different colors. You could get one or two. You could get them without the screws. I recommend if you get it to get it with the screws because I feel like that was really helpful for me. And they were really easy to replace. So there's that guy. Um, he's my 2005. He's, um, his like collector name is Sleep Be Pink. He has like a pink belly and then the gray. But I got a friend to go with him who is my little grapefruit girl. Look how cute she is. I felt like she had a good shaped beak um, and it said that she was working in the um, in the advertisement in the ad in the cell post but um, she actually she will talk but her eyes won't open so if you're a Furby collector if you know how to make her eyes open Please tell me because I don't want to just like go in there and not know like what I'm doing and break her. But I push her tummy and she talks. You happy see me, huh? So I'm really glad to add this little girl to my collection. Also, I need a name for her, so let me know any name suggestions. Thanks guys. So that is literally all of my purchases for July. That's everything. That is definitely my smallest um, monthly wrap up ever. So let me get into the video ideas that I have coming up so you know what to expect. I just did my unboxing for round three, episode three of 
um, toy talk because we already looked at the toys we ranked them and then now I actually purchased some so you can see my first impression I've actually already opened some here's a little hint of one of the toy lines that I opened um, and that will be coming up soon and then shortly after I will be finally doing a tour of my shelves so you can see how I have them set up um, I don't have all my little shelves that I want set up like I haven't set up my Barbie shelf or um, like my My Little Pony shelf or like an extra doll shelf for like newer dolls but I'm just going to show you my main bulk of shelves which are four main shelves and then like three little shelves and a, and a plush net that's right above me and I think that's where I'll start and then as I do the other shelves I'll do organize with me videos for each individual shelf like organize my Barbie shelf with me organize my My Little Pony shelf with me etc etc so that's the update on what's to come on the channel so if you want to see those things that are coming up um, subscribe to this channel so you can see those um, yeah and then is there anything else my life updates so I was really sick in May um, well, for the last couple months, I feel, and it turns out that I was really sick because I am pregnant. So that makes me now about 16 weeks pregnant, so I'll be having a little baby in January. I'm super excited. And then in July, July 3rd, I also got married. So there was a lot going on. Plus my son's birthday, we had a blippy party. I'll put like a picture, it was his third birthday party. Um, and then my oldest son, he turned seven in may as well so it was just a lot of crazy stuff going on but now you have all the updates you know what's going on for the channels all the stuff that's coming up and i will see you in the next one thanks for watching guys stay whimsical bye